it can be a little over intimidating using the manual modes on your cameras. Hopefully I can make it a little easier. When you're thinking about using manual exposure and the exposure triangle, you have to realize what shutter speed, aperture, and ISO do. Shutter speed is simply how long your shutter is open and closed and how long your film is exposed to the light. Aperture has to do with the lens opening. The lower the number, the wider that lens is actually open and the more light it's gonna let in. ISO comes from the film days. On a basic level, it's just how fast your film exposes to light, or in this case, how fast your digital sensor exposes to light. The lower the ISO, the higher the quality of image, but less light. The higher the ISO, the more light comes in, but you sacrifice some quality on your images. When I first started diving into manual modes, I actually used the automatic modes quite a bit, but I would use it to help with manual. I would put it in automatic exposure, I would get those values for my aperture, ISO, and shutter speed, and then I would input those in my manual mode. From there, I can creatively adjust those numbers, but using this click method I'm about to show you, I can keep that exposure right where it was before. Let's assume we're taking a photo of this mini tripod stand I have. This is the exposure we want, but we decide we don't want to shoot at ISO 2000. If I take my camera down from 2000 to 1000, obviously the image got a little darker. And let's say we want to keep the same exposure. Well, instead of remembering exactly how many stops or what the numbers are that I have to go to for my shutter speed, I just think of it in clicks. So if we go back to ISO 2000 and I want to go to 1000, it is one, two, three clicks. So now I have the option of opening up my aperture by three clicks to help brighten that image back up, or I can slow down my shutter speed by three clicks, which also helps brighten that image up. I'm shooting on a 2.8 lens, so I can't get any more open than that. However, I can slow down my shutter speed. This is not a fast moving object. I should be just fine especially because my camera is sitting on a tripod, so we should be okay. So what I'll do is I will take my shutter speed and go down one, two, three clicks. And now that exposure is exactly the same as what we started, but we cut our ISO in half, which should lead to better quality images. Now let's say we don't want to shoot at 2.8. We want a little greater depth of field. So I'm going to take my aperture up from 2.8 and I'm going to count the clicks as I go. So one, two, three, four, Five. Now we're right at five, but that image is pretty dark. Now I can lower my shutter speed to let in more light, or I can boost the ISO to let in more light. We're already down to 1 60th of a second, so I probably don't want to go any lower than that, but I will take the ISO up. And we went six clicks before, so now I'm going to click the ISO up by six clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now the screens in the background have a little more detail to them. They're not quite as blurry as before because we boosted our aperture up, but we had to sacrifice a little bit and boost our ISO. Modern cameras, ISO 4000, probably not gonna notice, especially if you're just putting it online, but generally we wanna keep the ISO as low as possible to have the best quality images. This is a step to getting you to fully use manual mode and allow you to kind of customize what you want the camera to do instead of it making a choice for you. If I didn't go far enough into detail and you still have some questions, please let me know down in the comments.